interrupt the episode, but I just wanted to bring your attention to something very important here, and why this episode is coming up like extremely early here on November 7, 2015. But this is going to be the last episode for Minecraft Story Mode, episode number two, and hopefully episode three will come out as soon as it does. I will try to get right out there. I'm not that bearing that there's no mystery update that needs to happen for PC users to get it. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. But I wanted to bring your attention to something that is just kicking off today for the I don't know how many times it's been kicking off. But I want to bring your attention what is really going on for today, and it is the Extra Life Marathon. And it is game day here on November 7, 2015, and I just wanted to bring your attention what Extra Life is and what it is really playing for. Because some people know what Extra Life is, but they don't know what they are doing. So Extra Life, for those of you who don't know, is a donation organization that helps support kids that are getting treatment in the Children's Miracle Network hospitals around the country. And the one I support is the Penn State Hershey Children's Hospital. And if you want to go and donate for it, the link is down in the description below and you can go post a donation. Or you could also make your own link and raise for yourself. You could also buy the premium package which gives you exclusive deals on stuff. And it's $15 for you to go and support these kids. But Extra Life also let, lets you like join teams. I am part of the Minecraft team who has raised over $33,000 so far towards their goal of $10,000. And I know the Minecraft stream game day will be going up somewhere around this time. I was not able to attend this year, but hopefully soon enough, maybe in college, start getting events together and start helping out these kids substantially. My goal for this has been to raise $100. And that's all I have up linked, and if we can surpass that, that'd be amazing just to support these kids. But I know a lot of you don't know what you are supporting in the Extra Life campaign, or you just don't have the money, but even the smallest amount of money makes a huge difference in these kids lives and can really like I'm gonna present you with some statistics that are there and why they need our help and even how one dollar can make a huge difference and at the end of this video you're gonna see like how extra life has impacted this one girl who was shot in the head with an arrow and how extra life and the children's miracle hospitals came together in order to rehabilitate her and get her back into society. So it's a really good campaign that a lot of people don't know about and I'm hoping that these statistics will like insight some of you who really don't know about it. But it's basically Extra Life is for gamers to make videos, participate in events, and raise money for these kids that don't even that need the support at most. And especially coming up into Thanksgiving and the holiday season we want to give these chance, these kids a chance to live and enjoy their lives rather than have to struggle with all kinds of stuff. So why do the Children's Miracle Hospital Networks need our support as gamers or viewers or whatever? Well, the Children's Miracle Hospital Networks provide 32 million patient visits for 10 million kids every single year. So breaking it down a little bit smaller, every hour the Children's Miracle Hospital Networks treat 675 kids with trauma, 39 kids for diabetes, 92 kids for cancer, 39 babies in intensive care, and 97 kids for surgeries every hour, which then raises up every single day. 16,000 kids with trauma, 935 kids for diabetes, 2,218 kids for cancer, 925 babies in the intensive care units, and also 200 or 2,329 kids for surgeries every single day. So they need our support with the funding to allow them to go into these Miracle and Pepper hospitals and have an easier time paying off the substantial amount of debt that it costs to go into intensive care and surgeries and that's as a kid. So bringing into perspective with all those numbers that I just presented to you, 62 children enter a children's hospital every minute for treatment. 62 kids every minute go into a children's hospital around the world. And at the same time, the charity care, these Children's Miracle Hospital networks, the network hospitals are, the members are providing $3.4 billion 
in charity care every year. And since 1983, the Children's Miracle Hospital Networks, the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals, has raised more than five billion dollars, most of it at a dollar at a time. And the local children's hospitals use the funds, however, they need them the most. They need people like us to fund them. They can't raise the money on their own, and they hope that the public has the light hearts in order to supply them with as much money to take care of these kids and give them a chance to live. And at the same time, every minute, Children's Miracle Network hospitals are providing $6,500 to save kids' lives. So there's a lot on the line here that a lot of people don't understand, like how much one dollar can make an impact. Your people thinking, well, I can't give you a hundred dollars at a time. It doesn't matter. Even just one dollar at a time. The simplest thing you can do is donate a dollar at a time and then go share it with ten of your friends and get those ten to raise a dollar at a time and then have, have them share it and just expand it upon your reaches. Don't say, oh, I donated a dollar and then I'm done. No, that's not the whole point of the thing. The point is, if you can take either my donation link and you donate to it and then share it with your friends and then get them and like spread it out and then that total is going to rise rapidly 10 to 100 to thousands of dollars to save these kids lives at a time you can buy one dollar at a donation rather than just say okay I donated my one dollar now I'm done I don't need to do anything else that's not the point I mean donating a dollar is really helpful to saving these kids but the more you spread the word the more people will get involved and the more you can get involved in saving these kids lives and then getting the opportunity to attend a charity event like this and then get to meet face to face with the kids that you gave money to imagine that they get to see your face you donated this much money to save them and every person that raises money gets like assigned a kid that they are like technically taken care of and they get a message at the end of it saying from the kid saying thank you for what you have done to save me so it's a neat thing that hopefully you guys will enjoy and hopefully the video at the end will like persuade you into seeing what this is really like and how it can help kids so much so you'll see like little clips from videos that extra life has provided me with from time to time and throughout the month of november especially as much as i can get out to you and just to give you guys an idea about what is going on. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today in this like 8 minute, 9 minute clip. So thanks guys. Hopefully we'll go down in the description below. Click on the Extra Life link. Donate or start your own page. And get involved that way. And hopefully you enjoy the last episode of Minecraft Story Mode. Episode number 2. And as soon as episode 3 comes out I will get that to you. But otherwise I have different games that I'll be playing with you. And different stuff. And I will be meeting with Nick or Copper71 to see what else we're going to get into your schedule and comment down below if you guys have any ideas about what you want to see so thanks guys hopefully enjoy the program and go support the extra life page and get involved in saving kids lives it's gonna be light soon we're gonna be okay man i miss daytime how far is soren it has to be close right not much farther we can make it no These trees are all lined up in the perfect path, man. Soren really lived down here? The architect. So far from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> Yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Woo! <laughs> Don't fall, okay? Come on, Ruben. <sighs> oh, that is deep. That is very, very deep. <sighs> Whoa! Ow. 
Oh man, we've got Enderman. I heard your voice and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Enderman. There were so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Where are the others? They went searching ahead for you. Hear that? I think Ruben is trying to get our attention. That's a walks away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. They've definitely got issues to work through. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. I got too bad, Vic. They made a statue of me. I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Hey, Petra. Hey. You okay? Hey. Jesse? Yeah? It's Petra. She... I don't know. Doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but she... Well, maybe she'll talk to you? the rogue, Eligard the engineer, Gabriel the warrior. Okay? I'm sorry. I don't mean to worry you. I've just got something I want to discuss with you in private. Well, let's put up. What's up, Badger? Whoa. I feel bad about ditching everyone else, but I just wanted to talk to you about this alone. It's a little tough to talk about. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thanks for being so understanding.
You got me away from the wither storm. But I'm worried that I didn't get away soon enough. What? It showed up not too long after you saved me. What happened? The wither made you sick? Do you know what wither is? The wither? Of course. We've been... No, Jesse. Just wither. Or wither sickness, I guess. And I feel like it's just gonna keep getting worse. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others. We can get help. You can't tell anyone about this. Huh? Ah! Creeper! Oh, oh, yeah. Grab my hand, I'll pull you up. Uh, uh, oh. That's not the point of it. No, not the amulet. Again. Second time. Jesse, I just couldn't. I'm sorry. Jesse? Go and find the others. Hopefully, you can find a way to get down to me or something. Okay. Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you. Substantial amount of lanterns. All right, Zorn, where are you at? Must have something useful in here. He has to. Why would he have so many books? Uh, hello there. <gasps> you trying to interfere with my plans again? I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you. Clearly, I'm here with the order to find Soren's super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order. <laughs> Believe me, that plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Fine. Oh, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> Petra, you escaped? Oh, <laughs> Ha! Foolish girl! I... Shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm just gonna take you down. You should let the Order decide. He'll know what to do. That kind of justice is too good for this monster. I'm the only one who can stop the Wither Storm! Not you, not the Order! Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. You're not going anywhere. This could have all been avoided. 
If you want to stop me, you'll have to catch me first. Jesse, look out! You're not getting out of here that easy, Ivor. <laughs> I'm like the wind! to go this way, Jesse. You could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me. Now you... <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let him leave. Vanish all you want, slime ball. You're still not going anywhere. <laughs> End of the rail, Ivor. We're not letting you get away with this. This one's on you, you puffed up fool! There's no time for this. Jesse! Petra! Even more of you? Will this parade of useless babblers never cease? What's going on? We found Ivor. We stopped him. Jesse did, anyway. False. You have stopped nothing. A query. Have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? think they can stop me, that they can destroy the Wither Storm, but they are mistaken, and it will cost them their lives. Oh. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Petra's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the wither storm? Or would they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Huh? So, apparently, 679. Most people trusted Axe with the ammo. Only 46% was uh, destroyed. 85% by the night. So, it's 50 50 now. Well, we're gonna have the same thing going through for the next episode. So, that was episode 2 here, Assembly Required, and I hope all of you guys enjoyed watching it. And once episode 3 is released, I will get that gameplay out to you guys as soon as possible. And see you next time. As a police officer, I'm in positions where I see the worst in people. Nobody ever sees a cop unless there's a problem. So, you know, we're always walking into problems or issues. And so I've kind of become a little callous, if you will. We never thought that we would ever be in the situation that we were in. It was an accident. It was something that we never thought it could happen. I knew nothing about Children's Specialized Hospital. I never knew about any of the pediatric care. I, too, was like many other folks who thought that children were just scaled-down versions of adults. 
and you realize that they're not. Hello? Around 5.15, we had a phone call that had been an accident and that they had called 911. Got there and uh, I saw a police car in front of the house. We didn't know what to expect. So I ran into the house and I looked and there was a uh, I couldn't walk in when I saw my daughter that way. Our friend laying on the floor holding Ariana. The little boy, a day or two, uh, he was nine, was, his father had bought him a, a kid's compound bow. He was getting ready to get his hunting license. The little boy picked up the bow, grabbed one of his father's target arrows, and rather than going out in the backyard and having a clear line of sight to the target, he was shooting from the garage into the backyard. So when she ran, she came right across, and the arrow hit her eye and between her um, eye and her nose. Missing her brain stem by, I believe the doctor said it was an eighth of an inch, but still severing that MCA and causing her to have a major stroke. She pulled the arrow out herself, um, and then she just fell on the floor. We got to the hospital and uh, we were told that she probably wouldn't make it through the night. That was the beginning of our nightmare. So an arrow hit you? Is that right? Ariana hadn't read her last rites. I got hit by a bow and arrow. Um, I couldn't speak, I couldn't talk, I can't, I can't walk. They put her in a medically induced coma for initially for two weeks and we started to lose her. So they had to let her be, and then slowly for another week until she was able to wake up. And uh, she was able to wake up. Dr. Y said to us after a week, okay, no more trach. She can breathe at home. And that was scary, but she did it. The one hospital fixed her physically, but somebody had to take care of her and get her right uh, mentally. We tell everyone that we don't know what we would be or what we would do if we didn't have children specialized hospital by us. There is a light at the end of the tunnel and things are gonna be okay. And then we met the folks from Children's Miracle Network and it was like meeting angels. I can walk, I can talk. Right now, I can talk much. <laughs> she doesn't recognize the things she can't do. And even after doing therapy, we always wondered, you know, is our little Ariana coming back? And she's definitely back. It's beautiful.